sweater for Tucker for Christmas, and it also is red with a Santa belt on it. And then I bought a gift that I need to take for a party that I'm going to tonight and was also a Christmas Santa belt themed present. So when we had gone up to the uh, cashier, I had said to the uh, cashier, I'm like, clearly we love Santa Claus. And he kind of giggled. And um, the funny part was um, the the gift that I I purchased is something that I saw right after Thanksgiving, but it wasn't any type of sale as of yet. And it was very expensive. Uh, it's kind of like, I'm trying to think of how to explain it. Uh, I'm sure it has a real name, but it's just like a little, um, you know, like the fancy tea sandwiches and stuff that you would get, you know, it's like a little tray that has, you know, different levels and layers it's sort of like that, but it's, you know, it's a Santa one. So, you know, it's the bottom one is the bottom part of them, and then there's a middle part, and then there's just a little top part that's his head. It's adorable. And I had wanted to purchase it back in November, um, but like I said, very expensive. So when I, I saw it yesterday, there was only two left, uh, but, you know, it was like 50 or 60% off, and then I had my 30% coupon. And when we were in line waiting to pay, the woman came up behind us, because it was very early. We were there at like... 7 30 in the morning a woman comes up behind us and she looked at the little sandwich tray and or cake tray or whatever you want to call it and she goes oh my gosh that is so cute I'm like I know right she's like how much is that I'm like you know it says this much on the sign but then she's like I got my 30% off coupon and then she's the guy's like I'll tell you I'll tell you how much it was and she he told her how much it actually came out to be with all the discounts she goes I'll be right back I have to go I'm like there's only one left you better hurry it's on the top shelf go get it so um, I felt like I did a service uh, and making someone's day very bright by getting that adorable little thing. I had joked with her that I'm, I'm getting it for a gift grab, and uh, I'm not sure if this is one of the stealing ones. I have a feeling it probably is. I might just steal my own gift. Maybe I will. We'll see. So I wanted to um, – I put a picture up of Tucker in her new sweater. This is from Ellen's collection, and Ellen is getting a video from me later today showing off Tucker in her new Ellen holiday sweater. And if that doesn't get us on the show, well, I'm going to start really becoming annoying. Watch out, Ellen. I'm just telling you. So I wanted to know from you, do you buy your pets Christmas gifts? I didn't consider that a Christmas gift for her because I put it on right away. And, of course, I want her to wear it leading up to Christmas because, you know, she'll look a little funny walking around in a Santa sweater in February. So got to get my use out of it, right? So I wanted to know if you buy gifts for your pet. I typically buy gifts. I haven't always bought gifts, but other people buy her gifts too. My mom used to get her gifts. I'm pretty sure that my cousin gets her gifts because we spend Christmas Eve at my cousin's house and we open up presents on Christmas morning and Tucker gets some from him, I believe. I did get her a few uh, stuffed toys that I have now posted on the topic uh, if you didn't get a chance to check it out. And um, I got her some stuffed toys from the dollar store. I try not to spend more than a dollar on this stuff because she just destroys them. We've talked about this before. She destroys them almost immediately. So there's really no point in me paying $9 for a stuffed toy that's going to last for five minutes. <coughs> Excuse me. So I do try to just find some stuffed stuff. Some stuffed stuff. Uh, for my girl at the dollar store. They're not intended to be dog toys. It does not matter. She does not care. And I had to sneak behind her back to take the picture of them this morning to make sure she didn't see them. So uh, a lot of your responses were, of course I do, they're family. I was never insinuating that they weren't part of the family or that they didn't deserve gifts. I merely know for a fact that some people just don't bother because they don't know. They really don't know. I mean, they know something's going on. They can sense and see the excitement of Christmas. Um, but they really, you know, it's not like they're expecting a gift. But I'm going to just go on to your responses. Gail said, I do a stocking for him. Janet says, yes, I do. They both open their own presents, too. Tucker can never really get it started. I usually got to get it started for her. Linda says, grand dogs and cats get them, too. Uh... 
Lynn says, yes, I'm anxious anxious to see Abby Rose and her reaction to her first Christmas and presents. Yes, they just picked up Abby Rose in February, so this will be her very first Christmas. Marcy says, nope, and he doesn't know the difference. See, there's one out there. Eleanor says, of course, they're family members. Uh, Nancy says, absolutely. Lori, of course we do. Adele, absolutely. Uh, Sandra says, Maxie had her own stocking until she chewed the toes out trying to get to the treats inside. Yeah, they're bad sometimes, aren't they? Donna says, yes, they're, my cocoa is completely spoiled. Maureen says she just spent $175 on pet gifts for mine and others. So I replied to her that to her that Tucker would like to meet her. Renee says, yes, of course, she loves to open them. Libby says, yes, and she has to wait until Christmas. That's the other thing. I always get impatient and just give them to her early. I'm like, oh, she don't know about Christmas. I'm just going to give it to her now because I love to watch her play. I love to watch her play. Uh, Jennifer says yes, and then Michelle says, of course, they are part of the family. Again, never meant to insinuate they are not part of the family. You know how I feel about my girl. She's my child. She's my kid. She's my baby. She gets whatever she wants all the time. She doesn't need Christmas. She's always getting stuff. She has got the life. I'll tell you that. All right, so on to today's blog post. We are talking about finishing strong. I have put up a picture yet again of me with Mr. Dave Hollis. In case you're not familiar, that is Mr. Dave Hollis, husband of Ms. Rachel Hollis. I know you know who she is. And Dave's little catchphrase is, let's go. So in the words of Dave Hollis, let's go. We are halfway through the month. This is the last full week of work. Let's finish up this year strong. Let's just promise to work our butt off this week. And then we can feel so much more satisfied when taking time for ourselves the next two weeks. So give this next week everything you have. And I assure you, it will be a great feeling to have no guilt or worry about what you need to do when you get back to work. Is there something that's been weighing you down? Is there a big project you've been putting off because you're not sure what you're doing or it's just a giant pain in the ass? Get it done. Just do it. If you don't know how to do it, then figure it out. You can Google virtually anything at this point, and it doesn't have to be perfect. It just has to get done. It's better to just get it out there imperfectly than to keep putting it off. Now, I told you a few weeks ago I was going to clean off the mess of my desk, and I did it. I told you I was going to do it by the end of the week. I had it done by Tuesday, and I'm still walking into that room, and it brings a smile to my face because it still looks amazing and organized. It is such a great feeling. Now, that wasn't something I didn't know how to do. I just didn't feel like it. Once I got started, I realized it wasn't as horrible as I thought it would be. It didn't take as much time as I feared. I made it so much worse in my mind. If I would have just gotten it done long ago, I wouldn't have wasted weeks dreading it and making it out to be such a nuisance. Now, it wasn't fun, but it's done. And I am so glad. This is the type of thing I hope you will tackle this week. Get it off your plate. Don't set yourself up to start the new year tackling things that should have been done this year. I'm hoping this week you will give it your all. Do everything to the very best of your ability. Get all the work done and in such a way that you can be proud of your accomplishments. Don't do it for glory. Do it because it's your job and you want to do it well. And you will feel like you truly deserve the upcoming time off you have. But more than that, don't start the new year in the hole. Get those duties off your desk. Show your future self, you know, the one coming back on January 2nd, that you finish strong and get tasks done in their due time. Don't come back in January with a backlog because you want it to coast the rest of this year. If you absolutely feel the need to coast, wait until next week. Give your all this week and get ahead so you won't be behind in the new year. Most people will have two days off of each of the next two weeks at least. So make sure you get to those end of your duties 
now. That way you can focus on little things that need to be done those last two weeks instead of huge projects that have been hanging over your head. Just do it. Get it done. You will feel so much better. I've been trying to get an email list started since I came back from my Rise Business Conference about a month ago. I am so intimidated by this process. There's so much I don't know. I have how to set it up, how to make my newsletters look pretty, how to actually send them out so the most people can access it. Can I access an old list that I have? Do I have to input all, each and every one of the old email addresses I have? I will have an email list up and running by Friday. I guarantee this. And now that I've guaranteed it to you, I really have to do it. No backing out now. Will telling someone your goal help you get it done? Then do that. Tell me on the Hopefulist group page, what is your goal for this week? We can do this. No coasting here. We are going to finish strong. Like I said, in the words of the above picture, Dave Hollis, let's go. Ah, I can feel it. Do you feel it? Let's get ready to kill this week. It is Monday. It is my favorite day of the week after Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. A brand new week full of possibilities and opportunities. Now go make it your best day and week yet. Thank you for listening to The Hopeless, hosted by Wendy McClure. For more inspiration, please visit hopefulist.com. Thanks, and we'll see you tomorrow on The Hopefulist. Come on, Ellen. Happy on your show.